Hey everyone. So I am actually different room. I know. I'm over at Matthew's place. This is his bedroom. Um, I had a few things I wanted to show you really quick. I know this is kind of like a little semi vlog. Um, remember in the last vlog I was telling you about the uh, card I got from, from, from other schools. Here it is. And before I get to that, I wanted to show you a few of the postcards I mailed off. These two are actually going to. One set is going to Anthony, this one right here, and he's the one that drove Matthew and I over to the airport. And this set is going over to Gail, which is Matthew's mom. She didn't really have anything to do with the trip per se, but I know that she would like some postcards. So, <clears throat> what the postcards look like, of course these weren't the only ones I gave to the bank, but let me go ahead and show you some of the Queen Mary. This right here is the Queen Mary in Long Beach, California. I don't know if you can see that. I hope you can. And here's a postcard showing some of the interiors. Right here you have the wheelhouse of the Queen Mary. Then here you have the aft engine room. Oh. Right here is the observation bar. And over here is what is now known as the Queen's Salon. It used to be the first class main lounge. And then, here is the Carnival Paradise, the ship that I went on the cruise on. And, here's a postcard showing two rooms. The one on the top is the United States Bar, named after the ocean liner SS United States, currently docked in Philadelphia. And on the bottom here is the Paris Restaurant, which was the uh, Lido type buffet restaurant. I believe that was named after the SS Paris of the French Line, uh, built back in 1916, lost in 39, I believe, to sinking. I'm not sure. But the United States is notable for being the fastest ocean liner ever built. And one of the fastest passenger ships to cross the Atlantic. Well, one of them was beat by, I want to say it was called the Hover, Sp the Hover Speed Great Britain, but anyway, you don't care about that. Um, before I get to the card, I wanted to show you this while I was here. On the trip, I gave Matthew my, uh, my, my promise ring. Now, as you know, I already have one. And so I bought another one for him, one size up, because I thought that would fit. And so what I did is, because he's currently borrowing one of my wallets, and he likes my wallet too much. But at the time, I got him a wallet out of Avon. It's a leather wallet. And... When he opened it up, when I gave it to him, it was on the uh, sound stage on the aft portion of the, uh, of the Queen Mary. I gave it to him in this wallet, and then when he opened it up, the ring was right here. The one you're currently seeing is my ring. But, uh, and then I also got him a $25 for this gift card. But that ring, when we got back in, proved to be too small, so he exchanged it for this one. It doesn't spin like the other one, and it's not as decorative, but it fits. So, and it was the same price, so we didn't have to pay, you know, for any more or any less or whatever. But, with that out of the way, oh, and before I forget, I had somebody who was asking me about what promise rings mean. Well, traditionally, from my understanding, there are three rings in every relationship. The promise ring, the engagement ring, and the wedding ring. Now, the promise ring can actually be anything. <laughs> it can mean any promise, anything from, you know, friendship to a promise to being monogamous. And uh, in a relationship, that's typically what it always will be, is to be monogamous. So he got me my ring, oh, quite a bit back. <laughs> I, I, I believe it was our anniversary. And then, uh, of course, I got him this one on, on the Queen Mary on a trip. But, uh, they basically are the physical embodiment of a promise. So, and then, here's the card I was, I was telling you about the other day. One from Desert Schools. And, yeah, I was very happy. But here's the card itself, on the front. And, of course, as you open it up, a whole bunch of signatures. Um, let's see. Thank you for the lovely postcards. Yesenia, I think that's her name. And Louise signed it. Uh, thank you for thinking of us while you were on vacation from Nydia, I think. I think that's her name. Um, I'm really bad with names, by the way. And then one from Claudia. 
Gerald, thank you so much for the cards. I, I hope you had a blast. I am so glad that you're living out your dreams and not just planning them. Keep doing that and you will never have any regrets. Believe me, she's correct. <laughs> I have no regrets so far. Um, Eddie said, uh, thank you for the postcards. And then, Leia, the one who, ga who gave me the card. Dear Gerald, thank you so much for thinking of us during your trip to the Queen Mary. The postcards are awesome. That was very thoughtful of you. Thanks again. So, I was, I was beaming when I got this. So that made my whole day. And uh, that's pretty much it for what I wanted to show you. And then I actually did forget a, uh, two things last week. One was that um, I went to Mikayo's on Wednesday with Yujima. It's a group I'm in. Uh, United Gay Informed Men of Arizona. Predominantly black, but anybody can join. Um... Because that's actually how, how I heard about it. A, a friend of mine, Chris, goes there. And then he mentioned it to me. So I brought Matthew and we go every, every week now. But uh, we went to Mikhail's and we had a free dinner. It was a uh, AIDS talk. And, you know, I like to learn as much about it as I can. Because, you know, being bi. <laughs> uh, well, I can say gay or bi either way. Same thing for me. But uh, I only say bye because I've never tried anything with a woman. But anyway, different story. Uh, but I went there because, you know, I can never learn too much about it. And I think one of the in most interesting things I learned was the uh, statistics. In the United States, there's like 1.4 million cases of it. But uh, I think it was like 51% were African American. 38%, 30-something anyway, were white. Then I think it was like 18% were Latino and Hispanic. Then 1% Asian and Pacific Islander. 2% uh, Native American. I thought that was kind of interesting. And, uh, oh yeah, we also got raises. I work for a crap job. I really probably should not be saying that, but I do. And it sucks, because I've been there for three years now. August 10th was my third year anniversary. And I am the eldest uh, person working at that location. Maybe not with the company, I don't know. But at that location, store number 851, I am the oldest person there as far as working at that location. And then on top of that, I am one of the, mo I am one of the highest performing associates in terms of credit. I'm beating everybody. I'm like number one in, I'm number one in, the, in the district. And for a while there, I was beating even management. So, and it's hard to beat them because they work more hours than me, but I get paid, I was getting paid $7.45, I got a 20 cent raise, $7.65 an hour. Been there for three years. Don't get me started. <laughs> um, other than that, that's pretty much it. How much time do I have left on my camera? Eight minutes. Let me show you Matthew really quick. I'm going to move my whole tripod too, so I'm going to see if he wants to say a few words. Bring, oh yeah, the legs won't come in, we'll like, oh, I'll do that, okay. So, let's move out here. Say hi. <laughs> he don't like being on camera. Anyway, I think that is going to be pretty much it. See you guys later. Bye.